Hi there, I'm Rhonda and I help makers turn their digital designs into income. On my channel, you'll get quick tutorials, cool tools, and simple strategies to grow your digital product business. If you want daily AI prompts, trend tips, and a fun community that gets it, join us in our AI Profit Society. I left a link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And now without any further delay, let's get into today's video. Hey everybody, it's Rhonda, and I just wanted to show you something in our Creative AI Prompt Library. Um, if you're looking through here, if you're a user and a member of the Prompt Library, and you're scrolling through and you see a prompt you like, and you think, wow, I do like this prompt, but, you know, I should be designing for Halloween right now. And it is the end of June and Halloween designs are already selling in a big, big way. So you're sitting here and you're scrolling through and, you know, we do have different uh, holiday, you know, prompts. But if you are just scrolling around and you decide you're thinking, I really, really like these woodsy prompts right here with the different animals in the woods and let's say you like them but you know you want to design for Halloween right now right so grab the prompt that you like take it then take it into the prompt variation generator okay and I'm, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tell it to scale this prompt for different animals in various Halloween themed scenes, okay? So I'm taking the original prompt and I'm just telling it, give me some different animals and make sure they're all in Halloween themed scenes. And we're gonna send it in there. And now our prompt variation generator is going to give us a bunch of different prompts it's actually going to give us 10 of them with different animals and they're all going to be in a halloween themed scene so we're taking this just this cute deer here in the woods and we are going to turn that into a bunch of different animals in different halloween themed scene so we're going to take the first one this is it changed it into hand-drawn sketch of a curious black cat so i'm going to come over here to artistly and i'm going to go into ai image designer 5 and i'm going to use the artistic designer okay and i'm going to pop that in there and i'm just going to generate two images and we're going to see what we get the other thing i wanted to show you is when you're in Artistly here, now we did these in the Artistic Designer, correct? So let's go to our Illustrator and let's go to Creepy Vintage, since we're doing Halloween, paste that same prompt in there, generate some images, and then let's just take it back to Image Designer 5 and our basic Create from Prompt. And let's throw that same exact prompt in there. And let's give it just a second till it generates all these images we just asked for. Okay, so it generated all of these. Now, remember, we use the same exact prompt, right? This one we did in the Artistic Designer. You see we have such a awesome like watercolor look to it. And then this one we ran in the AI Illustrator in Creepy Vintage. So we have another completely different look. And this one we ran in the basic uh, clip art prompt generator. And this is the look we get. So, you know, you can actually, with the same prompt, we actually have three different designs three completely different styles that you know you could list all three of them or you know pick your favorite whichever you want to do i just wanted to show you that when you're running your prompts and artistly you know depending on how you run them you'll get completely different outputs completely different looks 
which is great. But, you know, this cat started from this. You know, this was our original prompt for this deer laying in the ferns. And we just generated some more prompts from that original one. Just told it what we wanted it to do. You know, change it to different animals in different Halloween themed scenes. It kept everything else the same. You know, the style and stuff like that. But it changed the animal and it changed the scenes. So let's go in here and I just grabbed another one and I like the artistic designer. So I'm going to run that one again. And I really liked the creepy vintage since we're doing Halloween. So I'm going to run that one again. Okay. And while we're waiting for those to generate, I'm going to show you again. This is a rabbit one I ran earlier and it's the same prompt, but here we have we ran it in the AI Illustrator under watercolor inspired, inspired digital style. So that came out more of a cutesy type of image. This one we ran in the basic uh, Image Designer 5, you know, uh, image from prompt. And then this one we ran in the Artistic Designer. So again, we got three completely different looks from the same exact prompt. And let's check these out. Okay, and here this is our vintage, creepy vintage toad on a mushroom. And that looks really, really cool. And let's see, let's refresh this and see if the other two. The artistic designer has been taking a little bit longer to process this morning. And here's another creepy vintage toad, which looks fantastic, I think. Okay, and now here is the artistic designer version of that toad. And that looks amazing as well. But again, it's a completely different look, completely different style. So you can actually use all of these if you want to, or, you know, you can run something completely different. We could go in here and just do the create from prompt with no real style input at all other than our prompt and we'll see what we get there but let's come back over here and let's see it gave us a raven and that's always a fun uh, Halloween subject so we're going to paste that in here into the creepy vintage and you know what i'm going to stick in here i'm going to look around what else do we want let's do the watercolor inspired digital generate those and let's do let's do the artistic designer again because that today has really been some of my favorites with the uh Halloween themed. Okay, so here is our creepy vintage raven on a cauldron. That it came out really nice. This is our watercolor inspired digital style raven on the cauldron. Again, a very nice look. And let's refresh this once more. Okay, that one failed to generate. And that happens sometimes. It's not that big of a deal. But let's come back over here to the prompt library and look around and pick something else. And again, you know, just because they're in here and they are not uh, themed to the holiday or the vibe you're going for, you can take these, like, let's take... Let's take this uh, little raccoon here with the coffee first, okay? Let's grab that one. And let's bring it over here. And again, we're going to go with uh, Halloween. Scale this prompt. Replace the coffee for a... Um, bubbling potion. 
and give the scene and give and make various Halloween themes and just paste that raccoon with the coffee cup and now we are going to go through here and we can pick out a couple of these and run these let's come in here let's do creepy vintage <clears throat> Okay, so in this one, it's punching a to-go style potion cup. I should have um, phrased that a little different. That's not exactly what I wanted. So let me come back over here and let's take that prompt that it just ran and scale this, replace the coffee cup replace the cup with a bubbling potion cauldron and we'll have it do that and now it's going to come through here and give us different Let's see what it does. It should have given us some different uh, cups. So let's look. Let's do Creepy Vintage again. Do two of those. Create image. And let's look at these. And now, and here is our Raven in the Artistic Designer. Remember, that was Artistic Designer version. That took a while to run. But that looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. And now here you go. You have your raccoon with the bubbling cauldron, you know, which is brew. So now you took that cute little raccoon drinking coffee and turned him into a raccoon with a witch's brew cauldron okay so i just wanted to show you that in case you didn't think about any of this you know you have access to the creative ai prompt library if you're a member so you might as well get the most out of it that you can and you know here on the left is your library where you can access you know all the different prompts we have in here that you can change up for you know any holiday or theme you're looking for and then down here underneath the library you can see you have a link right here to the prompt scaler that you can use to create even more prompts from what you'll find inside the library okay and if you have any questions on this um, drop them in the comments let me know and have